Hello everyone, welcome to a new video on this channel. Today we are testing the Intel Core i3 10160GB of dual channel RAM 2x8GB and the integrated Intel UHD graphics 630 in Apex Legends. Since this is a pretty demanding game, we are going to be restricted to 720p low settings. But if this game is going to be playable or not, we are going to find out very soon. Okay, we are in game now, 720p, everything set to the lowest. Let's jump into a match. Okay, 19 FPS, but we haven't dropped yet. It should perform way better on the ground. I already tested the system a couple of weeks ago in a compilation also with Apex Legends, so I know already what's going to happen now performance wise but i think this game is is really worth having a look in detail i'm not going to refresh the counter now the previous fps values should be included now so just for you guys to know even though that we are averaging right now 40 FPS, 30 in a, the building, the average FPS number is still going to be a bit lower. Some information up ahead, playing this game at 720p is not perfect. And to say not perfect, um, I mean you play at a disadvantage because you would need to have clean graphics, sharp graphics, especially if you um, have a look at the long distance. So let's let's stay here for a moment. If you look at the apex sign, you see the apex sign, but already this um, the stuff around that isn't isn't sharp. I'm playing on a 1080p screen now and 24 inch if you if you'd be using a, a smaller screen or maybe you're using uh, integrated graphics on a laptop with a smaller screen 15 inch display this would look way better but now 1080p screen 24 inch this isn't looking great at all and the problem is the moment a enemy would show up there I I wouldn't be able to see him or let's say I wouldn't be able to see him uh, clear in Apex Legends you want at least 900p best of course would be 1080p and um, you know the low settings aren't that much of a problem it's it's a competitive shooter but um, the resolution is a huge problem. Higher resolution would be highly appreciated, but again, this would um, result in way lower FPS values. And of course, you also have to speak about the FPS values because you see, when we're walking around here now, we are, yeah, barely exceeding 35 FPS, averaging now in in whole uh, 30 fps that's not good for a shooter game that's not good at all and you're basically not able to reduce the resolution even more because then you could you could uh, lower your resolution of course um, by um, yeah changing values in the uh, config file but this would result in yeah, even way worse graphics. Now, now look at this building here. I, I'm not that far away from, from the building, but I, I already can't see sharp corners anymore. This, this is, this is looking really, really blurry, sluggish. 
you know, when I get close, now, yeah, now it's it's getting sharp again. And you see the edges clearly, but, you know, even from a small distance, this is just looking bad and making you play at a, at a huge disadvantage for such a competitive shooter. This is, this is only bad. Resolution isn't great, obviously. Quality isn't great, but also the FPS isn't great on the UHD 630. We are only running at a GPU bottleneck right now. The Core i3 10100 would be capable of running this game just perfectly fine. Um, but of course, only in combination with a dedicated GPU. I would suggest for this game um, using a GDX 960 or better. I uh, was testing the GTX 970 a couple of months ago in this game. Apex Legends, Apex Legends just ran ran fine, you know. But yeah, that's the problem of these integrated graphics. You ask me, is this game? Playable on the i3-10100 if it's integrated graphics it, it, it is sort of playable, but it's it's far away from enjoyable uh, and You you really play at this huge disadvantage. So this in at least in my opinion is just Totally killing your gaming experience. I would say If this game ran at 900p Low settings and um, maybe averaging 50 FPS. This would be totally okay playable, but this clearly isn't the case. And also, since this is a game that is supported by the NVIDIA GeForce Now streaming service, which is, in, in my opinion at least, a, a valid option if you are using a system with such with such a low 3D performance, um, I basically I basically can't recommend playing Apex Legends on the UHD 630. Chief or Snow is really a pretty cheap and good alternative to yeah gaming on such a low performance too far away and you know now you see the disadvantage I can't see anything of course I got no scope yeah but at least I would see the building um, the edges of the building sharp at 1080p or even at 900p 720p is just pain in this game Twenty five FPS. This is oh god, this is bad. Twenty two FPS, full action. Okay, I didn't even see this guy. Good that you killed them because I wasn't able to. <laughs> and again, I, I I just could see barely the enemies. These guys are carrying me. Of course, you could activate anti-aliasing or filtering, but this would again just cost you FPS, and you really have barely FPS. Oh god. That's it. Not the greatest gaming experience, to be fair. Uh, we can spectate a bit. Okay, this, this was even the end of the game. Nice, these guys carried me 
to the end. You know, performance isn't that great on the UHG 630. It's far away from being a, a powerhouse. Basically, it's it's one of the one of the lower end integrated graphics. Um, already more than two years on the market, of course, um, compared to the latest Intel generation. You get more than 30 to 40 percent less in terms of FPS, so this is noticeable in such games because, for example, if you'd be using the UHD 750 of uh, the current Intel generation, Apex Legends would be way more playable. Still not well playable, but it would be okay playable. So. All in all, I have to say Apex Legends is just barely playable on the i3-10100 even with the dual channel RAM and the UHD 630. With single channel you can expect, I don't know, around 20 FPS, uh, FPS decrease probably. Not a good experience, but it is what it is. Um, gaming with integrated graphics. <laughs> isn't always that nice however i hope you still liked the video at least it was uh, in my opinion pretty informative if you did feel free to leave a like and consider subscribing to this channel i hopefully see you on in the next one when we are probably testing a faster system and yeah stay safe and have a great day goodbye